the demonstration we have here today is actually twofold. It represents what a standard CMOS sensor can do for an automotive application, as well as a more generic industrial application. So the demo we have here today actually is a sensor, 1.3 megapixel sensor, we call it Python, which is the name of a new family we are now releasing for production. It is looking at an infrared light source together with an infrared light spot on a little doll over here. Everything else in terms of visible light is being blocked. There is a filter in between the lens and the sensor and that filter blocks all the visible light. So the screenshot we have here today shows that you can actually see the light spot of a 900 nanometer LED on a human face. Together with the plasma ball, you can see the difference between what we see as a human being, so it's hardly visible, but for the sensor, this is very, very clear. An application like this could be automotive, and think about driver monitoring, where people tend to fall asleep while driving. The camera system wants to wake up people, warn people when the system sees that somebody is closing their eyes or not blinking fast enough anymore. And of course, you want to detect this in the evening because that's a typical moment that people tend to fall asleep while driving. But in the evening, it is dark. And while it's dark, you cannot really point a light source at somebody's face because you would blind the driver. Now, with an infrared light source like that, you can actually light up the entire face of a person without actually bothering the person because we as human beings, we don't see the near infrared light. The sensor, however, does see it. And if you look at the picture, you see a clear difference between where it's illuminated and where not. And a system like this can be used for a safety application in our market. The second application, which is more a generic application for the Python family as a whole, is machine vision. And there the differentiators, because there is competition out there, we are very much aware of that, the differentiators are that the raw data from the sensor is clean. It is clean so that people can use the image as is, without complicated or expensive post-processing. So system costs are being reduced, you use a sensor, you use an interface, and that's it. And all the processing power can be used for other things, instead of dealing with the sensor. So there's a cost differentiator, there's a performance differentiator, and there is an entire family approach where we can introduce all the different resolutions in different sizes, and people can just use one, integrate the others pretty much for free because they're all footprint compatible. Once you design in one variant, automatically you have also your camera platform for all the other variants. So the key features of the Python family are the ease of integration. It has an upload with SPI registers, you can connect it to your FPGA. Output is a standard LVDS output format. People can multiplex a number of channels down to one to even reduce system complexity or cost proportionally. It's a fully programmable solution. People can optimize the timing and the settings of the sensor to really get the best performance possible for their specific application. And our team has application engineers who are very much familiar with the sensor and they can help our customers really to optimize the image quality for that specific application, for the specific way that people are using in that kind of environment. Other features of the sensor are like windowing. So windowing is actually when you read out a small portion of the sensor, but in this case, the differentiator is that people can um, program multiple windows. So you can start with one, but for the higher resolution parts, our 25 megapixel, you can actually define 32 independent windows of interest. So the windows can actually be on random locations in the image plane, they can also overlap each other and each have a different shape or aspect ratio. This provides a lot of additional flexibility in the AMP application. And think about tracking objects moving in a fabric, um, in an industry environment. Think about reading barcodes where you want to really detect one barcode on a larger box. So you can actually narrow down, zoom in, take the information and move on to the next thing. And all parts, and that's another important key differentiator, all parts have a global shutter, which means that all pixels start and stop their exposure at the same moment in time. So there's hardly any distortion of moving objects and whatever.